Good day everyone. In the news now is an article that uh, the people that have been to my meetings will find interesting and there are thousands of you and hopefully you will find this article insightful. And this article is from MoneyWeb and the headline reads Asset Managers Slam Naspers and Process. So this is going to be interesting and just remember the things that I, that I said about the four families that run this country and uh, those businesses that enable that band together to share strong words about proposed share swap and executive pay so this is naspas and process banding together to share strong words about proposed share swap and executive pay and you'll see the kind of money that we're talking about here and there's a, a picture of uh, the cio uh, of naspas and process ceo bob van dyke and um, people claim that he's made a, made a value destructive decision. And as I go through the article, you'll understand where this comes from. In a move that is without precedent in South African corporate history, 36 asset managers have sent a strongly worded letter to the boards of NASPAS and Process, highlighting their concerns about the proposed share exchange between the two companies and the long-standing misalignment of the executive compensation system. The asset managers, which include NASPAS, a single largest shareholder, the Public Investment Corporation. This is where your pensions are being held if you are in the public uh, domain and you actually work for government, represents total assets under management of more than 3.6 trillion rand. Now, a trillion is a thousand billion. Now, to put that into perspective, that is nine zeros. So, yes, 3.6 trillion. Significantly, three of South Africa's largest asset managers, Alan Gray, Coronation and 91, formerly Investec Asset Management, have not signed the letter. So, they're not complaining. So, you need to think about what that means. Alan Gray, Coronation, and 91, formerly Investec Asset Management. So they are siding with this decision, and you need to understand why. It should be noted that 91 CEO Hendrik de Toy is a member of the NASPAS board. And uh, there you go. So asset managers and investors who co-signed the letter of complaint is 361, uh, uh, 361 or 361 Asset Management, ABAX Investments, Aeon Investment Management, Athena Capital, All Weather Capital, Alawani Capital Partners, Batalia Capital, Benguela Global Fund Managers, Comgest, Counterpoint Asset Management, Denker Capital, Excelsia Capital, Fidelity International Limited, First Avenue Investment Limited, Gepolis Granite Asset Management, Cajiso Asset Management, Lorium Capital, Marzi Capital, Melville Douglas Investment Management, Momentum Outcome Solutions, Nedbank Private Wealth, Ned Group, Optimum Investment Group, Perpetual Investment Managers, Perspective Investment Management, Public Investment Corporation, that's the PIC, okay, that holds all the funds of government workers, all the pension funds, Prudential Investment Managers, Centio Capital, Truffle Asset Management, Vizio Capital, and Vunani Fund Manager. So these people have signed the letter of complaint. So they are popping themselves at this stage. The proposed share swap represents another attempt by NASPERS forward slash process management to reduce the yawning discount between the value of the NASPERS forward slash process shares and the underlying value of its key investment, 10 cent. Now go and look at Tencent and see who Tencent is. I've spoken about this at length in my meetings. The people that have been to my meetings will understand how I reveal truths in bits and pieces. And hopefully you go and you do your homework. And I'm so glad that I can actually highlight this to you now from an article that is written in MoneyWeb. And once you actually see the big global picture, you will see South Africa's place in that global picture and why NASPAS and Kuz Becker is so important in that picture. One of the main families involved. The proposal has met with widespread criticism since it was announced last month, 
with analysts and investment managers stating that it will add to the complexity of the control structure without achieving any reduction in the discount. In the weeks after the deal was announced, NASPAS Process CEO Bob Van Dijk told the media that the more they interact with the shareholder base, the more support they are getting. So he's saying the more we are gut creeping, the more people are starting to agree with us. Now are they speaking to them or are they promising them things? Let me continue. This week's letter sent to the board members on Wednesday evening suggests that support is at best patchy. I would agree with that. The unprecedented move by the asset managers may be nothing more than a huge embarrassment for the NASPAS process boards given the control structure involved unlisted entities control NASPAS through high voting A shares. NASPAS in turn controls process through its current 72.5% holding. The unlisted entities at the top of the structure are controlled by NASPAS's chair Kurs Becker non-executive director Kobe Stofberg and Sanlam, among others. Now, if you go into the history of Sanlam, you go into the history of Naspers, your eyes will start opening. You will see the Bruderbond involved. You will see the Masons involved. You will see many secret organizations involved in the formation of those organizations. And once you see how that ties in with what is happening right now, then your eyes will open more. And you'll understand why the plan that's being put forward for future success in this country has to be as drastic as it is. The next sub headline, problematic. In the letter addressed to Becker and 91's the toy, the asset managers say they find several aspects of the proposed transaction problematic. We are of the view that it introduces elements which serve to increase complexity in the overall company structures, thereby reducing the likelihood of further value unlock, whether immediate or long term. And now they should be concerned about this. There is a lot more behind this that I won't discuss at this stage, but this is a transition to what is broadly called our transition to a new world order. And a lot of people, uh, and I will name his name now, people like Neil De Beer says that this New World Order is utter rubbish. So, um, yes, um, that is all I can say about that. The asset managers say they look, they took the unprecedented step of going public with their concerns because after communicating with the executive management team, they have not been given a clear understanding of how their views have been interpreted. According to the asset managers, the introduction of cross share holding between the two companies will inhibit subsequent corporate restructuring and the further potential unlock of trap value. It would be unique for this instance to result in the opposite, they say. Well, this is just yap yapping. Incentives. The letter also raises the long running concern of the misalignment of management incentives which they believe could result in the discount widening further after the proposed transaction. There's various links to this article, from this article to other articles that are related. And as usual, the, the, the link to the article will be in the description below the video. So you can just go and check it there. But I continue and I quote, We reiterate previous concerns raised in, individually that the management incentives in process are dominated by the performance of 10 cent and not and are not sufficiently connected to the unlisted companies within process. And this is what I've said in my meetings. Tencent is the main focus. Tencent is used to introduce new world order and greater good ideology. This is all an ideological fight. And all of this nonsense that you see now, everything I speak about with regards to this article is to achieve in the end one simple goal. And that is for you to relinquish your freedom to a new world order society where we believe in the greater good of mankind. And if you hear any leaders out there speaking greater good ideology, dump them fast because they don't believe in your and my individual liberty and freedom to choose. They say then this reduces alignment between management's decision in respect of the unlisted components and how their own capital allocations decisions are ultimately accounted for and assessed, say the asset managers. To be more specific, Shane Watkins, 
chief investment officer of one of the signatories, All Weather Capital, told MoneyWeb on Thursday morning that it must be placed on record that they do not agree with NASPERS and process management's assertion that they have created significant value in the recent past, especially as it relates to the, perf the performance of Van Dijk, who has been paid hundreds of millions of rands. One individual. Think about this. Hundreds of millions of rands to an individual. The truth is that he has made some value destructive decisions, the most material being the sale of the stake in Allegro, which was sold for $3.2 billion, and on listing had an implied valuation of $21 billion. So, I mean, that is way below, that is seven times lower than the actual valuation. The first sale of 10 cent shares at... Uh, 400 and 400, 405 HK dollars versus the current price of over $600 HK around US $5 billion left on the table. And of course, a discount in NASPAS has actually widened since the listing of process, says, says Watkins. So what they are doing here is um, they are not um, giving proper value to things. This is messing around with intentions and markets, which means that money doesn't actually count. And this is one thing I've tried to make clear to people. This is not about money. This is about control. And if you don't understand that, you won't understand why people will actually throw money away. Because there is actually no money. You are the person working for that money. And the day you got your ID number, money was being printed in lieu of the labor you will perform in your lifetime. <clears throat> He added that 100% of the value created has been through an uplift in the 10 cent price, where Bob Van Dyke has no participation or input whatsoever. So they're saying he had nothing to do with this increased value. It's 10 cent that's being driven. If you think about it, it is all actually about 10 cent. Look at what 10 cent does. It's one of the inventors of TikTok. What does TikTok do? What does a program such as TikTok do? The people that have been to my meetings will understand. Against his background, we find his arrogance and dismissive attitude towards us stupefying. And that is the end of the article. Hopefully, you would have made the effort to listen to the article, go and read it yourself, and go and read the links to the article, and then try and understand what this actually means. You know, for me to sit and explain all the details of this is not easy. It'll take hours and hours just speaking about NASPAS as a company. A company that our government uses to represent us when it comes to artificial intelligence seminars in the world and conventions. So, if you look at the hold that NASPAS has on Soror Ramaphosa, people in government, people in the ruling party and many other parties, you will be, see how this current government is just an absolute farce. There is no government there. We have no sovereignty. We are not a democracy. These people are controlling our lives, making us need and want money. While they are messing with it. Because it means nothing to them. The power it gives them means everything. And I really want to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. And click the bell icon to receive notifications for new videos. And thank you to everyone that's made contributions. Underneath uh, this video in the description, you will find the double ODS Capdeck banking details for the people that want to support this channel and the work that I do. I really thank you for your contributions to carry on with this work. Thank you very much. Till the next video.